Lexo CyberColor supports the integration of multiple segment data, automatically and intelligently stitch them into a complete 3D space model. Users can choose to perform map fusion based on RTK or relative control point for different scenarios. Both modes can be used separately or combined, but there must be an effective connection between each scan. Good pre-planning is the foundation of successful map fusion. Sure an overlap of 15 to 30 meters between joint maps. Please choose areas with enough features as the overlap path. Avoid planning overlap areas in degraded and feature-sparse scenarios such as open spaces, long corridors, smooth tunnels, monochrome or dark areas, and reflective surfaces. If using two or more scanners, ensure the device models and LiDAR heads are identical. A map fusion project supports merging up to 10 maps, with the total scan time to be controlled within 200 minutes. Performing map fusion with RTK, each map must have at least 30 meter effective RTK coverage, and the scanning trajectory should not be a straight line. Instead, using zigzag path is better. Performing map fusion with relative control point. Ensure that joint maps are connected by the same control point. Note that for the stability of map fusion, the device placement and orientation must remain consistent for the same relative control point. When collecting consecutive scannings for map fusion, after finishing the first scan and before ending the data collection, put your device down and add a control point. Then end the first scan and start a new scan without moving your device. As your second scan finished initialization, add a control point and give it the same name as in the previous scan to 30 meters in the direction of the previous map to ensure a sufficient overlapping area. After the data collection, you can perform map fusion in LCC Studio. Note that to perform map fusion, your computer should have at least 64 gigabytes of RAM. And you need to reserve enough free space on your disk at least more than twice the raw data size. Upload the collected data files one by one. If you use an external panoramic camera, you need to upload the corresponding panoramic video files. After entering the model name, you can choose the model generation quality and the computer's video memory limit according to your specific needs. 